today I'm going to talk to you about how Advil or other NSAIDs work. Advil, also known as ibuprofen, is a common over-the-counter medication used to treat pain, fever, and inflammation. Advil is in a class of medications called NSAIDs. That's N-S-A-I-D. This stands for Non-Steroidal Anti-Inflammatory Drug. There are many brands of NSAIDs over the counter. It's a good idea to note that Advil's generic name is ibuprofen, which is also the generic name for Motrin. Some other NSAIDs include naproxen, which is also known as Aleve, Solacoxib, which is Celebrex, and Meloxicam, which is Mobic. So let's go into how NSAIDs like Advil works. Actually, the mechanism of action is still not very well understood, but the following I'll be presenting is considered the most probable way. So let's take an example. You have some type of injury. There's a fatty acid called arachidonic acid that just hangs out in your tissues and when injury occurs, it's converted to a substance called prostaglandin. This happens via an enzyme called the Cox enzyme, which stands for a very long word, cyclooxygenase enzyme. All this enzyme does is act like a worker bee in an assembly line. It takes arachidonic acid and converts it to prostaglandin. Now prostaglandin does a lot of things. Three things that it does is cause pain, fever, and inflammation. These are ways that your body tells you that something is wrong and needs your attention. Without these signals, you may not notice your injury, and as time goes, it can get worse, become infected, and can even put you in a hospital. Okay, so let's go ahead and review since we've covered a lot of information. So you get an injury, and the arachidonic acid hanging around the injury site is converted to a hormone-like substance called prostaglandin. And this is done via a worker bee called the cyclooxygenase enzyme, or COX enzyme. And this all leads to pain, fever, and inflammation. Now NSAIDs, like Advil, goes in and blocks the COX enzyme from working. Thus the passageway to pain, fever, and inflammation is blocked, which of course leads to relief from your symptoms. You may notice that there's a lot of pain medications over the counter and you may get confused on which one to take. Other names that you've probably seen are Motrin, Ibuprofen, Aleve, and Naproxen. You should know that all these names represent an NSAID and shouldn't be taken together. However, Tylenol is actually not an NSAID. So let's compare Advil versus Tylenol so you can be more informed with what would be better for you to take. So both Advil and Tylenol treat pain and fever. However, Advil has the added benefit of reducing swelling while Tylenol does not. So if you have a bug bite that's very swollen, Advil is probably more appropriate. However, Advil causes significantly more stomach upset than Tylenol. If you have a sensitive stomach or you are more sensitive to medications and you don't really mind or have any swelling, it's probably more appropriate for you to take Tylenol. Also related to stomach upset, Advil can cause stomach bleeding and ulcers, which Tylenol doesn't. Bleeding with Advil can also occur in other places of the body, so if you have blood clotting, and or blood thinning problems, you should consider staying away from Advil. Another thing is Advil can also increase blood pressure, whereas Tylenol does not. So if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, you should consider taking Tylenol instead. Another important point is that each medication can cause organ damage at high unsafe doses. Advil can hurt your kidneys, so if you have kidney problems already, you should probably avoid Advil. Tylenol, on the other hand, can cause liver problems. So if you have liver issues, you should consider staying away from Tylenol. As you can see, there are many pros and cons of taking an NSAID like Advil versus Tylenol. Even though these medications are over the counter and the FDA has deemed it safe and appropriate for you to decide what to take on your own, it's always a good idea to talk to your healthcare professional before taking any medication, especially if you have chronic health conditions such as high blood pressure, a history of heart attack and stroke, are on blood thinning medications, and have kidney and or liver problems. That's all there is to it today. Thank you. Goodbye.